Hi everyone, today I'm going to get you some information about our new product RP3588 Interactive Display of new Real Touch. And this product is with Rockchip RK3588 Auto Core 2.5 GHz CPU. So that is rather smooth and without any interference or any lagging of the product, you guys can actually get into any application without lagging. So it's very smooth. I can get to artificial. Oh, okay, applications and then you don't feel any smooth many lagging of this product and for the design it's a whole brand new design with white color okay you guys can see this is a whole white color with matte white design so it's rather uh, cool for the eyes and an appearance and you can also see there's a little bit black matte black over here this contrast for this design is rather you know premium like a high-end new products and then we also have like the pen tray in the front as you guys can see two pen tray over there and with magnetic design so you can actually put your pen all over there without any you know inconvenience and then we, we also have the viewing speaker in the front it is with 20 watts speakers so that is a surround 3d sound better for the conference meeting and education for this product and these are the appearance of the product for the rp 3588 and for other parts we'll have more information this product is also good for you know conference meeting because we have a building ai cameras okay as you guys can see we are opening the ai cameras and then this, this camera is with viewing auto checking functions so it actually when you are doing some speech in front of the cameras you can just move around and the cameras will go to check your image and then also go checking your sound so you can go anywhere and then have your live conference with your colleagues or with your roommates or with your partners in the you know long distance conference meetings without any interference because it's checking the whole you know uh your whole speech all on the way and the other good part is that it is with the 20 watt speakers building actually the sound effect is so good and i can get you some information about the sound effect actually we have okay videos okay uh in these devices then i can just use uh you know vibe management okay you can use vibe management and then i can get you some information about the videos effect of the products okay you can have her for the sound effect. It's a surround sound so that we can get the effect from anywhere from the roof. And for the RP3588, it is also with multi ports, okay, in the front and at the back. As you guys can see over here, we have like a USB port, HDMI in, and also we have NFC. And at the back, we also have USB Type C. At the back, we have USB Type C and also HDMI touch etc or this course and we can get you some information about the functions of this course so for mfc you can actually use the mfc card to turn on or to turn off the devices and you can also use the mfc card to actually turn it on again okay and right now it's uh, restarting the devices because i use the mfc card to turn it in and off for the usb port you can actually use it to connect to the devices and then you can use it to transfer data like uh, the files to the system and i think you guys can have actually get access to that and then we also have uh, the other part we have a fingerprint okay a fingerprint in the front so that you can use your finger to lock the screen for the fingerprint we first of all we need to use the fingerprint application here and then yeah we need to unlock it Let's see. Yeah, I got that add new fingerprints. Okay, for example, I want to add my name to keep and I finish and then I can use my fingerprint over here. And the other part is the type C USB type C port. This one is a full function multimedia type C port. So okay, you can actually use it to charge your devices like your phone or laptop and you can also use it to transfer data in and out of the devices. So this is a dual port type C in and type C out port in one type C port in the front and at the side. Connect okay. to my port and then I connect to this. Okay, right now it's connecting again. And then you can actually use the type C here to connect to transfer the image or videos. Okay. Uh, for videos, I need to have Welcome to Real Touch Factory Show. As a professional interactive display manufacturer, we have more than 15 years experience, acquired many awards and certifications. 
So actually you can use the Type-C port to transfer not only the image but also sound and videos and image and all the data that you guys need. So you can see all the information over there from that devices to these devices. You can actually see the screen of different devices all at the time. Uh, you can get into Google and then okay for the other part uh, these devices we also have uh, other applications over here for example it's like we will have the split screen okay so that you guys can actually use the split screen all at the time for example you can actually choose different applications to split the screen for example google chrome the white or you are doing a meeting with google meet and then you can also use youtube on the other side of the screen so we can choose whiteboard and youtube uh, i mean google at two sides and I will have this okay car image show maybe I'm doing a lesson about cars and I can use the iPad to you know get to the car over here and then I can actually search the car from this side of the whiteboard or I can do some information about car what type of car is popular at this like a Lamborghini yeah but or some electric car very popular electric car in this very moment of the you know time okay a lot of red cars okay you can actually have to do image without any interference of this different type of cars and yeah or you can have the videos on this side of the image and then we can have a player uh, other tools is like we can also have you cup here and then we can use them to cup like a triangle uh rectangle side of the image or you can actually cut really for example you only want this part to be in your elaboration or you want to just share it or just uh you know get it safe you can actually share it with the QR code share and then you can get the image of the share okay get the screenshot and then the other part is that you can also have on timer okay so then you guys can have a pop quiz like uh four minutes or three minutes and then you start a pop quiz and then you have your countdown from the screen so that students can have a uh, can access to the timing and after all this down like uh, get to zero then you can have all the paper to collect to get to you and you will have the pop quiz out okay the other part is like we can also have you freeze this uh it's a very convenient too you can just lock the screen so that there is no no other interference. Uh, for example, you want to play the video or you just want to do something on the screen so that no one is interfering the screen and you can just unlock the screen easily. And we can also have a curtain over here, like uh, you are doing a guessing game, and then uh, you can have the students to guess what's behind the scene. For example, you are having an elephant over there, and then you you can let the children, the students, the kids to guess what's behind the screen, and then they can actually get scores behind that. And use this curtain. It's very convenient and very useful tools over there. And I think that's so much for the information about these tools. You can also have other calendars like here or trial log or these little tools are very useful. And then we can also have different like this uh, different room for classroom. We have automatic setting the scene settings with different lines showing on different room. Okay, the last but not least that we for this system, we have the built-in OPS slot at the back so that you guys can actually have different size of OPS. It just fits, it can fit in both the EU standard or the C standards of the OPS. So then you guys will have no problem to use the window system. So actually this is an Android system and it's with, uh, the RAM is up to 8 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte. And for storage, the memory, you can actually go to a very large capacity, like a 256, 512 gigabytes for you guys to choose from. Actually, you can, this is a very powerful Android system with a large capacity of memory. You guys can not, uh, can just use this system without using the Windows OPS. But if you guys want the OPS, it's okay. The OPS slot is already there and you can use a dual system as long as you like it that way.